Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? Right now I'm on my way to Barrows, I'm not really sure why, I just had an impulse kind of thing, I logged in today and was like, you know what, I haven't visited Barrows in a while, I haven't slayed the Barrows brothers and got nothing from their chest in a while, let's go do that. So that's what I'll be doing today, that's what you're going to be seeing me doing in this video, and I don't know why, I really don't, I just decided to go do it, so that's what's going to be going on right now. Anyways, I'd like to take a quick little segment and say I released my Evolution of Combat skilling video. If you haven't seen it yet, I will link it in the description below. And I just want to thank you all for giving it so much support and good feedback. I'm glad you guys are able to benefit from it and use it to help you for when the Evolution of Combat is actually implemented into the game for skilling. Because I know a lot of people have been asking me personally, Lee, is the EOC going to change the XP rates that are going on in the game right now? Is skilling going to be possible? Is skilling going to be affected at all? And I wanted to really just make a skilling guide to show you that it's only going to be better. It's going to be much better for people who want to power mine or fly fish anything that involves dropping it just makes a lot of things easier so i wanted to show that to you guys and i wanted to explain the new interface that we're going to be getting so that's what i really wanted to do with this video and you guys have been taking it in such a good and positive way and i'm very happy about that because that's all i want out of it i just want you guys to benefit from it learn from it and just get a good vibe out of it so anyways i'd like to take a quick little segment out of this and say you guys are the best viewers ever because I felt that even if I released an Evolution of Combat video, it wouldn't get bad ratings and I was 100% right because you guys are awesome and you guys understand that this is going to be the game on November 20th. This is what all RuneScape videos are going to look like. It's all going to be about the Evolution of Combat and I know a lot of video makers recently have been producing Evolution of Combat content and just getting a lot of hatred on it and saying, you suck, don't make EOC videos, this is not what we want to see. And in general, I just think that's ridiculous because that's what the videos in the game is going to be starting. November 20th. So there should be no hate and people should start embracing this a little bit more. Obviously some people are still upset that the combat's changing and yes it's going to take a little while to get used to the change but just get used to it and don't hate others just support them because I'm sure it's better to have RuneScape videos about the EOC than no videos about RuneScape at all. So definitely support your favorite video makers and just keep liking their videos keep supporting them no matter what videos they put out and keep just treating them like you always have guys. This is the community that we've all come to love and just cherish so Make the best out of it. Don't just dislike a video because it's about the EOC. Just take it for what it's worth and get the actual content out of it and enjoy it. So that's my little segue into that. But now let's get into the story time, which you guys are actually here for. So let's get into that. The story time topic today is about winning things. Now, you guys are probably going to ask, do you mean winning like trophies and winning a competition and, or winning something like a race or something? No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about winning a contest. And no, I'm not talking about a RuneScape GP contest where you got to like, favorite, and subscribe to 800 different channels in hopes to get a party hat out of 1,500 people that did that and they just run away with your subscribers. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like a real life contest. Like if you were to get a raffle ticket and win a raffle and win a prize, that's what happens. And I'm not one of the people that actually wins very often in real life. I don't win contests like that. I don't win raffles. I'm pretty unlucky when it comes to those kind of things. Even with like Chinese raffles or whatever they're called, the Chinese auctions. I'm not good with any of that stuff. I never win any of that stuff. So the first time I ever won anything was pretty special. And it was a long time ago. I think it was around when I was, I'd say, 12 or 13 years old. And I remember it so vividly because I've never won anything before that or really after that. I don't really remember if I won anything recently. But I remember this moment because this is the first time I ever won anything. And back in the day, I used to collect memorabilia. Now, if you don't know what memorabilia is, it's kind of like collectibles from different sports or memorabilia could be anything really it's just collectibles pretty much and I used to collect memorabilia for sports I used to collect baseball cards football cards basketball cards I used to collect signed jerseys signed things that they used in the game like signed bats and signed bases and signed pictures signed baseballs I used to just collect memorabilia I was a big fan of everything all sports and I just wanted to have all the memorabilia in the world I have like three boxes full of baseball cards that are autographed or have the piece of jersey in them or bats and I was a big big collector now, I used to spend a lot of money at the card store that was by me, and not me spending money in particular, it was my parents spending money. And they spoil me silly because I'm an only child, so if I wanted a pack of cards, I really wasn't going to be denied a pack of cards. And I was able to trade amongst other people, so I had a blast with collecting memorabilia and collecting cards back in the day. I even collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic cards, all that stuff. I was a big hoarder in cards, I loved collecting, I loved memorabilia, I just loved the concept of collecting. So... Anyways, back in the day, I collected a lot of cards and I used to trade with people, but every time you bought a pack of cards or if you bought a certain item from this store, they would give you a raffle ticket and at the end of the year, they have a giant raffle on some of the stuff within the store and hopefully you can win. So the more products you bought, the more chances you had to win at the raffle at the end and that kind of speaks for itself, but that year, I bought a lot of things from that store. I bought a lot of 
baseball cards, baseball memorabilia, jerseys, all this other stuff. I just had a bunch of stuff from the store, and I had a lot of raffle tickets. I think we had about, like, I'd say 80 or 100. Now, you got one ticket per every purchase you had, so we made quite a lot of purchases, and I guess it was from a pack of cards to a lot of things, so the purchases weren't a lot of money all the time, but it's just a lot of purchases. So we had a lot of raffle tickets, but so did other people because it was a pretty popular card store near me, so a lot of other people had raffle tickets, and some of the Items that were up for a raffle at the end of the year was a Phil Sim signed jersey and a signed football by another person and a signed baseball bat and packs of cards and cases for all your stuff. So there was a lot of things to get and I really wanted to win because I've done some of these raffles before in this card store and I haven't won for two or three years before that and I didn't win any after this. But anyways, I remember just getting my raffle tickets and my mom and dad would go to the store with me. And I'd have my raffle tickets, and I'd have them all ready. I'd look at all the numbers. I'd be ready, and I'd have them. My mom would hold some. My dad would hold some. I'd have some. And basically, I was super excited, and I was really hoping I would win something awesome. And they first did the cards and the cases and all the stuff that was just little things. And I didn't win any of that. So I was like, oh, man, my chances for winning anything is going to go out the door. So I remember holding my tickets. I had, I think, 10 in my hand because my mom had, like, 30, and my dad had 30. I just had 10. And I'll never forget... I ripped one off the top, and I was like, this one's going to win. And I showed my mom. I was like, Mom, this is the one that's going to win. It's going to win something. I really feel it. I want to win with this ticket. So I held that one in my left hand, and I held the rest of them in my right. And it was getting down to the last item of the night. And this seems pretty much too good to be true, to be honest. It seems kind of like a fake story, and I promise you it's not. None of my story time stories are fake. But this is how it happened. Is It was the last item up for giveaway. And it was a Phil Sims signed jersey. And I'm not a big fan of Phil Sims. I don't really know who the guy is, to be honest. He's a great quarterback. I've done some research on him, and he was a great quarterback. He did a lot of good things. He's also an analyst on ESPN, or was an analyst on ESPN, for that matter. And he was a great player. So I just knew that he was a football player. I didn't really know much about him. He wasn't one of my favorite people of all time for sports. But it would be really cool to have his signed jersey. And it was the last item for giveaway. And he was reading off the numbers. The guy who owned the store, that is, was reading off the numbers for the raffle ticket. And I remember it was just, I'll just say any eight number code. And it was like zero, eight, two, five. And I remember reading along to it with the ticket in my left hand, the one ticket that I ripped off. And it was like zero, eight, two, five, four, six. And it was like one number to go. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh my God, please say eight, please say eight, please say eight. And it was like eight. And I'm like, oh my God, I won. I showed my mom, I was like, mom, this is the ticket I ripped off. So it was pretty incredible that with the last item for giveaway and the ticket that I specifically ripped off and said I want to win with, that I actually won this prize and I got it. And the jersey was worth like $100 back then. It might be worth more money now. But the reason why I thought of this story is because my mom actually showed me the jersey and said, remember when you won this? And I was like, oh my God, we still have that. That was the first thing I ever won in my life, like through a contest. So she was like, yeah, we should try to sell it sometime. So I was like, yeah, we definitely should. So that's something I really wanted to talk to you guys about was just winning something in general because I'm not one to win contests very often. I don't enter many contests, but when I enter, I usually lose. And I bet you guys feel the same way. I mean, even with RuneScape contests, I bet you feel like when you enter those, you never win. But I'm not someone who really wins any contest by luck at all. But that was the first time I ever won anything out of my own luck and my own tickets. And I had it in my hand and I got it. And it was really cool. It was just an amazing thing to just win a signed jersey from a football player. It was his actual jersey and it was signed by him. So that's just a really cool collectible thing to have. And I think I might sell it. I don't know. I might keep it just for memory. But it was just a really cool thing that I wanted to share with you guys. So you learned that I was kind of a big hoarder for cards and memorabilia. And you learned that I won my first thing, which was a Phil Sims jersey. And it was autographed. So that's pretty cool. But... I have a question for you guys. What was the first thing you ever won? Or have you won any big contests? Have you won a car? I mean, it could go really extreme. There's contests for everything. Cars, houses, kitchen supplies, barbecues. You can win anything. Apparently, when I was younger, when I was like three or four years old, my parents entered my name in a barbecue contest. And if your name was pulled, you won the barbecue. And they say that they entered me because they entered everyone in our family because you could have one ticket per person. So they put me in, they put them in. And apparently, they pulled Lee Keller's card, which happened to be me. But I was three or four. I didn't even know that I was entering a contest. My parents just entered me so that they had another shot at the barbecue. And apparently mine was the one that was pulled, so I won a barbecue. Apparently that happened when I was younger, but I don't remember that. And my parents tell me that, but I guess they wouldn't lie to me. So I guess I won a barbecue when I was younger, but I don't know that and I don't remember that. So the first thing that I actually won was that jersey. And it was really special. So tell me about your first thing that you won during a contest in the comments below. Tell me if you won anything in your life. Tell me if you won a car or anything cool. And I would love to hear your stories. So let me know that in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Later, everyone.